G'day! In today's video I've got a Samsung Galaxy A40 which wasn't actually available in my region and it's currently died and doesn't want to turn on. It doesn't seem to want to charge. So I'm not sure if it's a damaged charging port but I want to open it up to take the battery out to charge that externally. And basically this is to give you an idea on how to tear into the phone. So with the A40 I'm going to use some isopropyl, a thin metal pry tool and then another metal pry tool to get in here. I'm going to get some isopropyl on here, which then will soften the adhesive on the back. Oh, this phone's actually been apart before, so it seems. The plot thickens. This is coming off ridiculously easy. If I hold this down, that should stay there. I can lift it up and out. So this has been opened once before. Let's investigate further. Take this off, take the fingerprint scanner out. Now I need to take out all these screws that are here. Compared to something like the A20 and the A30, which is very common in my region, the A40 does feel smaller. It almost reminds me of like an S4, S5 mini kind of phone. It's familiar, but it's shrunken. All these screws here are all of the same size. So there's not too much concern there. Come by the stamp here, I'm not sure if this is from the factory or if this has suffered a screen and body replacement at some stage. I'm not too sure just yet. Hopefully getting further into the phone will tell me a bit more information about it. A, if the charger port is replaceable. B, if that's the fault. And C, I want to get to the battery to take that out and hook it up to my external battery charger. So I want to know if this phone can power up with a fully charged battery. Just at the moment it tries to charge, brings up the charging animation and cuts out. So I'm not sure if it's software, hardware, but usually tearing apart a phone gives you another good idea. For example, here's an A23 that I've been working on. If I open this up. This phone here has suffered liquid damage. So, didn't know that, no mention of that until I opened it. And lo and behold, there is signs of liquid damage there. SIM tray out, SD card, SIM card. I'll grab this and pull it. I should be able to take the back cover off. Also, this blue heat pad here, or blue mat, it is a heat pad, heating up at 75 degrees Celsius. It does make the phone a bit easier to work on for me. There we go. That apart. Looking for signs of liquid damage. Up here we're looking okay. Battery connect is fine. Connect is fine. Fine. Put that aside. Now I want to take out the battery, which is fairly small. 3000 milliamp. Now I'll use some more isopropyl and dribble that on there. And this is going to make the battery removal procedure extremely straightforward for me. If you do have a isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, do just trickle a little bit down there. And that makes lifting the battery out so much simpler. As you can see, it's just kind of eaten away here. Now I'm going to connect this up to a battery charger. Something like this. So this kind of tool, I should be able to stick this onto a charger. Now I just need to compare. That one is looking very close. Connect it up. It's got 4.23 volt at zero amps. So now I'm going to stick this on charge while I go off to lunch. So I'm just going ahead and put all the screws in. They're all the same size. There's no need to be concerned about it. You're not going to put the wrong one in the wrong place. Reconnect. Fingerprint scanner. Power button, whatever you want to call it. Put that back on. This particular model is dual SIM. Which does surprise me a little bit. sit here. Slide that into there. 
as I showed before, oh, we were powering up, we're off at the moment. The back cover, which does look like it's been glued on, it's barely sitting there. But I'm going to turn this on, let it drain down for a little bit, and see if it will then charge back up once more. Anyway, that's how to tear into a Samsung Galaxy A40. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.